I'm gonna attempt to make a new dropshipping brand go viral on TikTok without spending a penny on ads. Now my strategy for doing this is not finding one, not finding six, not finding a hundred, but finding two elite products that we can build one product stores around, then film content for on TikTok to see if the TikTok gods can bless us with enough traffic to retire early on a beach and sip bottles with supermodels. Now in order for me to do this challenge, I need to find two products that can be used by a guy or both genders because I can't be wearing no bra or no waist trainer even though I love selling those and I know you sick perverts would love to see these hips shake after all because they never lie. So in order to find these products, I'm going to be using my favorite tool which is Peaksta. This is basically ad spy but at a much more affordable price as it shows you winning Facebook ads and even recommends you products if you don't feel like doing research on your own. As you can see right here on the dashboard screen, we have trending products that are automatically just hand fed to you so you can have new product ideas to test immediately. So we got these compression ab shaping pants. I know those sell incredibly well. Honestly, anything that's shapewear does really well. So if we wanna click on it, we can get some more details about the product as in the profit margin, how much you should be selling this for, the CPAs, what you should be marketing to, what countries. It literally breaks down exactly how to sell the product, where to find it, which suppliers. This is such a handy dandy tool for finding amazing products. And as we can see right here, we got the listing on AliExpress. And if you wanna bulk order it and get a private supplier, they have options there as well. And they even have listings on Amazon so you can get customer reviews for your product page or Facebook ads so that you can get inspired and create your own ads or maybe, just maybe, take a little few pieces from theirs. I mean, geez Louise, that's a whole new person. I mean, that's like 50 pounds of belly fat just gone, eradicated. What is this, a BBL? I don't really know, but that is a great product. So we're just gonna hop on here, try to use all the different tools to find two great products. Now, the reason why I said Peaksta is like the baby version of AdSpy and PP ads without the incredibly heavy monthly cost of $150 a month plus is because right here, if you go into Spy and then Tick Spy, you can see products that are going viral on TikTok already. So we got the anti-snoring device. I know that's selling incredibly incredibly well. Then you scroll on down, you got the laser hair removal. That product has been selling great for years. So again, plenty of inspirations for you to sell products on your own stores. But don't forget Facebook ads as well. As we scroll down right here, we got a bunch of different ads and products. Oh my God, look at those eyelashes. They are on fleek. And you can also search different keywords in your niche. So if you are in the beauty niche, you can look up and search for ads that have the word beauty in them. You can sort by English. You can do so many different things to make sure you are getting the exact right ad for your brand. So we got this, oh, I actually have sold this product before. This is a really cool like three-in-one mass design that keeps you warm and cozy. These are really amazing products. Now, if you've never started a store before and you're looking for some website inspiration, they got you there too, Peak Stuff. You go to the Explorer tab, then Store Explorer. You can see popular stores that are making sales that you can get direct inspiration for and see what products are selling along with the supplier so that you can source these products and sell them on your own brand. So again, this is an incredibly powerful tool and I'm only covering maybe like 50 or 60% of what it can do. It can even create ads for you. And it does all of this for $20 a month. So if you want to save some money and just get the all-in-one dropshipping tool, click the link in the description because this will save you so much time and make you a ton of money. Now, the first product I want to try out is the 100 movies poster because I absolutely love movies. I think we can make a ton of content with this. And when I was in middle school, all I would do was play video games and watch movies because I had no friends and I was incredibly antisocial and I had no idea how to communicate with other humans. And if there was any dropshipper who could bring back the gaming phone case, it's your truly. So we're going to be testing out these two products, making a ton of content, and we'll just see what happens. I got it! Oh, it's only been five minutes. How did Bezos get these over here? Now, I'm really curious if the gaming phone case actually works. There's no branding on this whatsoever. It's super generic. So let's rip this thing right open. We're going to do a little bit of a ASMR unboxing and Look at this money shot. Oh my goodness. It's absolutely beautiful. I've seen this thing for years. Let me get my premium iPhone 13, the best in the game, and see if this actually works. I think I got a good thumbnail here, but what is that music? All right, so we got Super Mario Brothers, we got Tetris. If we go to the right, there's even more games. We got Mario Bros. No way, Super Mario on the phone case. Oh shit, oh fuck, that was not a pro gamer moment. Mushroom season, uh. All right, you know what? I think I should stick to dropshipping. Now let's see what's behind package number two. Time for our ASMR box opening again. And would you look at that? 
the big money shot. This actually looks really freaking cool. No way. Wow, that's the back of it. Damn, that's a lot of movies. If I was to guess, probably around 100 there. This is big brain time. So it looks like both products are here and they're working just fine, but now we gotta build the one product brands around them. Now looking at the arcade case, oh my goodness. Chef's kiss, because this is one of the most beautiful websites I've ever seen. And take a look at that logo. That's some futuristic stuff. This is a phone case from the year 3000, it looks like. And this is a great offer. Now, I had to do a lot of customizations with the variants because we had so many different phone cases. And I had to make sure they're all in the right order, that we have high quality photos for each one of them. But let's just scroll on down. You can see I use this format for every single website because it does work. We got some great reviews. We got social proof. We got some urgency. It's all there. And then you know your boy likes to keep it simple. So for Prime Movies, again, that looks like a classic movie logo. That looks so sick, the square design. Then we scroll on down. The offer I think we're gonna do is 40% off. I will definitely be split testing different offers based on the traffic and how it's converting. So we might lower prices, we might high, you know, you never know. And then scrolling down, it's the exact same layout because this converts the best for me. We got the reviews, everything's looking tip top shape. But now we gotta get some content ideas. Now I got a little bit of a secret for you guys. I'm not some middle school Japanese girl who spends all day on TikTok, 20 hours a day, who's super ADD and knows all the different dances and trends. For me, in order to actually stay on top of this, I actually contacted this guy, Jackson Tips, who is on TikTok and has a variety of different content resources for brands to use when they're making different content. And he even has up-to-date documents with the different sounds and trends that are going viral right now so that you can check them out and have them all ready for you without having to do any work. And the amazing thing is that he's only charging $4 a month for this and I'm like, dude, Brands would pay at least 100 a month to know all the latest trends. They don't have time for doing that. But man, I would say if you're interested in making your own content, definitely check him out. He is incredibly underpriced and this is a very useful resource if you're trying to make your own organic videos. I also paid an extra 30 bucks just to get different hooks and content ideas besides the trends. And man, did he help me tremendously. So let me show you some of the ideas I came for with the phone case and the movie poster. So the first content idea is do not buy this if you want X result. And now this can apply for any product so for the video game phone case I did do not buy this if you want to relive that childhood nostalgia of pooping your pants in class and getting rejected by your crush or having a downward spiral of depression where you spend all day in your room playing video games and you have no friends and no social skills and anxiety and you just spend all day on TikTok and social media where the, your only friends are there and you put on your VR headset and the metaverse is the only place where you have people that really accept you. And there's a ton of other hook ideas thanks to Jackson. I really do appreciate it. I would definitely check out his services. Now let's go into one more. So you cannot achieve X if you don't have blank. So you cannot call yourself a movie expert if you don't have the 100 greatest movies poster because this poster shows you the best movies and gives you ideas for new ones to watch if you haven't already. So again, these are incredibly effective ways to come up with content. So let's get filming. Alrighty, Brainiacs. So I've been filming content for the past hour, filming different B-roll shots, shooting myself, doing different hooks. But now we have to edit everything together. And for doing that, I'm gonna be using an amazing free app, possibly my favorite free app, known as InShot. So InShot is a free editor on your phone where you can grab all the clips that you filmed and sent to your phone and make sure you create some amazing videos. So right here on my phone, I grabbed a few of the clips and stitched them together with a voiceover as well. Now, when it comes to doing voiceovers, there's not a lot of great apps out there so I actually have this app called you guessed it voiceover to film some amazing beautiful silky smooth audio effects that make you want to explode so with this app you can edit your clips by shortening them you can undo anything that you do you can add text if you really want so sexy beast sells you greatest phone case on TikTok if you really wanted to do that. You can even add music in this section right here by clicking on tracks and importing whatever you have on your phone. However, I'd recommend doing that inside of TikTok to get those trending sounds. So let's take a look at this video right here. Alrighty. There is nothing more irritating than having no apps on your phone to play during school, especially when they banned all the gaming websites. I can't websites, believe they banned all the gaming I got websites. A phone case that turns your phone into an arcade. Turns your phone into an arcade? And it also comes with 36 unique retro I mean, games. I'd buy this that. Also so for the arcade case, I have posted each and every one of the videos that I plan to film. It was around 11 different videos. I know, I was really going all out for this challenge. Now, 
After doing that, as you can see by our view counts, it dwindled and decreased over time, and it's very sad to look at. But when it comes to the posting strategy, I wanted to do around three videos every single day at different times. I did 8 a.m., I did 2 p.m. Eastern, and then I also did 8 p.m. again in the afternoon. This is just what I've seen works best in my opinion. Now, when it comes to hashtag strategy, I know a lot of people recommend hashtags using around three to five. Now, in my opinion, I believe there was maybe two or three videos where I did use hashtags, so let's see how they performed. Now, I actually didn't add a link in bio, which definitely added to the degree of difficulty with this challenge, because when I did switch my account to a business account, and I'll just show you what happens. I went to settings, went to manage account, switched to business account. You're supposed to be getting a link that you can add to your bio. And I switched the account now to a business account. So now when I edit profile, there should be a website link, but TikTok is out to get me. They know I've launched a competitor app and they are trying to blackmail me. And I am not a conspiracy theorist. Do not dare put that plastic wrap hat over me. I know my rights and TikTok is purposely trying to ruin this challenge and discredit my authority. So on this video, which had a pretty interactive hook and a good hashtag strategy, we got about 80 likes, which isn't that bad. Now when we go to comments, we got some smart asses, some people saying we can't use our phones in class. Well, buddy, why don't you grow a pair? and get some big girls. All right, so now that we respond to that guy, let's see the next one. When I drop, it's really game over. I don't know, when your balls drop, maybe it'll be game over. Next hater, if you could have your phone out, then just play games on your phone. Well, if you could have your balls drop, then why don't you already have them dropped? And then we have one more hater, but I'm not even gonna bother with them. They'll get absolutely annihilated by my ball dropping joke. Now, when we go to the next videos, there's not a ton of comments, but there's a decent amount of likes, like 60 plus likes on this video. Who is you? I am a failed dropshipper. But getting on a serious note, I do think this challenge would have worked better, obviously, if I did have the link in bio. And with the strategy that I had, I really just filmed content for about an hour and I just stitched together the clips. So a lot of the videos are very similar. They have the same clips. And the reason why I did this is because with TikTok, you're trying to appeal to a cold audience. This is people that have never seen your account. So you have permission to film content that's very, very similar because usually it's just gonna be new eyeballs seeing it. It's not like Instagram where if you post the same thing, people are gonna be like, yo, you've already posted that before. TikTok is completely different in the way that it's structured. So again, your main focus when you're trying to grow your account organically, make content that you think will go viral for cold audiences. Now, if you're trying to grow your account and obviously appeal to the followers that have joined your account, then I recommend doing videos that reply to comments. So let me turn on my screen record right here and show you what I mean. So on this video, I got a hater that said, so I just sacrificed my camera for some games. Now with this phone case, it actually did not sacrifice the camera. It doesn't block that so you can still use it. So a good thing that I could have done here is if I hold this comment, I can do reply with video. And right here, I could show them how much of a moron, how much of a little pea brain they are and flex my a million dollar arcade case that you can get at 40% off if you go to myarcadecase.com. Now, if we go into the website of the arcade case, it is exactly what you would expect. It's got in about 137 sessions. It's gotten zero add to carts. It's a dead zone. And I think a lot of it definitely has to do with that one extra step of people having to go to my bio, copy the URL, and then paste it onto their Safari. Now, when you go to my Shopify analytics, it's exactly what you think it is. It's not great. There's 137 sessions, which really isn't that bad for the amount of views I got. And when we scroll down, there's no ads carts and all this stuff, which is why I prefer ads. I'm a big ad guy because relying on an algorithm can be very tough, especially when it comes to videos going viral. It's very unpredictable, which is why I love ads. It's a lot less stressful. And I know when I was filming these videos, they do sort of feel like ads in the way they're structured. Now you're probably wondering, how did the movie poster do? Now, I actually haven't posted any of the content yet there. I know I've been a little bit lazy, but I did get all the videos done and it's around 10 videos and I wanna try to batch post them all right now and see tomorrow how they do. So what I'm gonna do, go to my uploads, and then literally just upload every single video. Now, these are all the videos right here. And if you're on a personal account and you're adding a sound, you just click on sounds and they automatically recommend you some really great music that is also trending as well. So it's very easy. I would always add music. I think music definitely adds to it. So once I add this music, what I'm gonna do in my caption is usually do something like link in bio to get yours today. Tomorrow for sure.